soon again. But it's time now for our special segment, uh, D Street Chatter. Nimesh will get us an insight into dealing room chatter, as well as a few tidbits about the stocks that are up and about in trade. Nimesh, what do you have for us today? Hi, Sonal. You know, uh, again, uh, a, a bit of under pressure, largely on back of disappointing earnings. So it's it's basically, uh, you know, India underperforming, largely on back of disappointing Q2. And across sectors and across companies, you're seeing a bit of disappointment as far as the earnings are concerned. And that's showing up in the numbers as well. Even the flows are not very supportive. So. Uh, we've been saying for the last one week now that there's been aggressive selling, so that continues. Even in today's market, the buy sell ratio is close to 1 to 2 on the sell side. And for the last couple of days, uh, the, the, the data seems to suggest that there is an aggressive selling from some long only funds and that to the large cap names. So that's, that's the reason why we're seeing a lot of pressure in the, in the broader market stocks as well as in the large caps. The sector of the day is clearly FMCG. Uh, the hope was that at least this, this is one sector which will deliver strong numbers. It was part of my you know, Q2 preview as well. The FMCG and consumer basket are expected to deliver strong, and that's not been the case. And I've seen a very sharp reaction to those names uh, in today's market. So ag again, you know, the earning reaction is pretty pretty sharp in in the disappointing set of numbers. Uh, the only space which is seeing a bit of buying traction back is the is the is the financials, and within that, uh, private sector uh, bank stands out selectively. There is buying into PSU banks as well. So the PSU bank index is up nearly one percent. And some bit of buying has emerged there as well. But broadly, uh, I guess it's a, it's an earning disappointment which is dragging the markets down, and the FI selling continues at least in the large cap names. Okay, all right, uh, Nimesh. Uh, any stocks that you have for us? Well, you know, uh, it's a challenging market to identify individual buzzers, but still, I've, I've managed to figure out few. The first name is Himmat Singha Seed. That stock is up 10 odd percent and large volumes as well. Uh, it's been buzzing in trade today. I understand the company is very close to raising funds by QIP, and some marquee investors are likely to put in money. That's that's the reason why that stock, that stock is exciting in trade today. The second name is NTPC. Uh, uh, you know, as I said, there, there is a lot of uh, long only selling happening, and NTPC stands out on the sell side. So, aggressive selling for the last couple of days. The delivery uh, marking is on the higher side, and that's because some long only funds are active sellers there. And the third name is Hindalco. That's interesting. You know, uh, we saw a very sharp correction in the in the in the uh, in the early trade, uh, almost down, stock was on 700 percent. We've seen a bit of an intraday recovery, largely on back of some bit of buying interest from larger HNI. So, uh, looks like some some uh, you know few large HNIs have bought in today's weakness, and hence that's that stock has seen a bit of a recovery intraday. Okay, all right, Nimesh, thanks a lot uh, for that. Well, in terms of stock.